have. I think that, you know, I think that the future of our people is in your hand. Mm. And I want you to walk in, work and think a certain way. Thinking what Mal Ozzy said to Mal. Yep. And why we always stand up. Whenever we introduce somebody, we stand up as yes, much sir. for ourselves and how we define ourselves yeah. as right. people who stand up.
title of my presentation is Dr. Rivers said, is education, ethics, and ethos towards an interrelated order of good. The ancestors taught that we are chosen to bring good into the world, and that that is the fundamental mission and meaning of human life. That's what the Odu Ifa said. And the Husea, the sacred text of ancient Egypt, says that the fundamental framework for us bringing that good in the world is my That's it. rightness in the world. And we do mind when we speak truth and do justice. When we practice propriety and harmony, balance, reciprocity, and order. We meet here black people, not only to discuss that, but to discuss it in the context of continuing crisis and challenge. All right. It's impossible for us to begin without realizing that we meet in crisis and challenge. First, we meet in the shadow of the shattered lives of hundreds of thousands of our people in New Orleans and the Gulf Coast. And we must pause always and pay homage to those who are dead, still dying, displaced, dispossessed, and totally devastated. May they rise in radiance in the heavens, sit among the ancestors, among those who are righteous and rightfully rewarded. Hotel. Hotel. Ashe. 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 Hey. And may all their loved ones be blessed, courage, consolation, and further commitment. Not that their lives or their death be in vain, to enrich the lives of those who survived, and to demonstrate the wealth of goodness that is inside us as a people. And I praise black people mm -hmm. for responding so quickly. Yes. Right. Yes. But I tell you, black people always say we did it with hey, all over the country, black people respond. That's right. All right. to serve the people's need, to build strong structures, to prevent what we can and to handle with quickness, dignity, and efficiency those tragedies we cannot prevent. We are also faced, as always, with the ongoing need to free ourselves in the fullest sense. Psychological freedom, political freedom, economic and cultural freedom. We must, in fact, Called out of the hard rock of reality, a place not only for us to honor and bury our dead with dignity, but to in fact enrich and expand the lives of those who are left and for future generations who would come after us. That is an ongoing challenge. And then we are challenged here to rebuild the movement in order to get that done. And so the educators must help us rebuild the movement. And these small movements, but also you need a movement among educators that joins with other movements. Like we need a new little side of movement, which we're trying to build and invite y'all to. But in the final analysis, we must build an overarching movement. Now, my position is, and I've talked to this fact when we first started, I want us to build a black movement. That's it. So that we can come at the table of negotiation from a strength of power. All right. We have to walk in the world as a unified force. Mm. Marcus Garvey, the honorable Marcus Garvey, who taught all naturalists after him, right. says, Show me a people that are unorganized. I show you people disrespected. Show me a people that is organized and have power. I'll show you a people that is respected, deferred to, and negotiated with in the world. Yeah. We need power. I'm a black power man. Come on. 